Today, let's learn how to create a line chart and a bar chart. Line charts and bar charts are common elements in back-end design. While back-end products typically have less interactivity and focus more on data and logic design, it's still important to consider user experience. Some back-end products, like Amazon's Seller Backend, are also used by a wide range of users. In these cases, the design of the back-end can greatly impact the overall user experience. To create these charts, let's start by setting up the widgets. Drag and drop horizontal and vertical lines to create the coordinate axes. Then, add horizontal lines as reference lines and change their border color to a lighter shade. You can duplicate more lines as needed. Next, add text to create coordinates. Duplicate more texts as necessary. The vertical axis will display numbers, while the horizontal axis will represent months. Now, let's use the pen tool to draw the line. Change the border color to red and remove the fill color. Select all the reference lines, group them, and name the group guides. Copy and paste the group and turn it into a dynamic panel. Resize it to cover the entire chart and name it Scrim. Bring it to the front. Create all the widgets into a dynamic panel and name the group line chart. Next, let's add interactions. Select the scrim panel and add a loaded interaction. Move this by this dot width and add a 2000 milliseconds animation. Duplicate the line chart dynamic panel. Enter the dynamic panel and delete the line. Change the bottom coordinates to continents. Then, drag and drop rectangles to create vertical bars. Customize their styles. Create two bars for each continent.
select all the bars, group them, and name the group bars. Hide the group. Add a loaded interaction to the group. Show the bars group and add a 2000 milliseconds slide up animation. Preview the prototype and you will see the loading animations for the line chart and bar chart. If you like my video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel.